Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? I guess I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Happy New Year's Eve to you from the body beatdown. Or me, your incredible host, Michael. I am moving slow today. <sighs> Just getting, just waking up for my second time today. I woke up like at one something this morning and uh, tossed and turned in bed and finally went ahead and got up and I was eating breakfast by about three in the morning or four, I don't remember. And then I went to lay back down about 5.50, 8 a.m. And it's just after eight, I believe. 8.34 to be exact. Dang. Well, we got a little bit going on today. Of course, as you know, guys, this is a little segment I call Walk and Talk. So we're gonna walk and talk a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna try and not be too long-winded, but at the same time, these videos are also for the purpose of maybe you watching while you're on the treadmill or out on your walk or your elliptical or whatever it is that people do. Even working out, doing yoga, Pilates, doing some Tai Bo. Remember Tai Bo with Billy Blanks? I got that very first uh, cassettes, uh, VHS that uh, was released back in the 90s. I got those when they first come out. I used to love them. Couldn't really do them real well because of my back problem, but I enjoyed it. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so, today, New Year's Eve... Well, we're heading into 2022, guys. Last two years have been kind of crazy, to say the least. Uh, I have done some uh, cool things in 2021. Number one is getting back to working out. Which, after my shoulder... And all that was destroyed for five years almost to the day. And it just so happened to stop. That's whenever I was able to go ahead and say, hey, I'm working out again. If you go back and look at some of my videos, you might see me talk about that. My right shoulder was destroyed. And it ain't healed. It's not better. I mean, it's not fixed. It just ain't killing me. So... I'm able to work out again and uh, I've acquired all my gym equipment this year you can go and check out my videos and check out all my gym stuff and then I guess one of my greatest accomplishments really is uh, dropping a lot of weight and changing up my eating habits and my lifestyle and you know finally getting a body at 50 years old that I've wanted for so long put it behind me Who are the people in my neighborhood? In my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. Oh, okay. Anyway. So I've accomplished that, getting the gym, losing weight, changing my eating habits, 
dropping weight and feeling good and oh i also jogged a mile by the time i turned 50. i turned 50 november 30th and uh yeah i accidentally jogged a mile i was actually just kind of training kind of prepping for the big day i wanted to jog a mile like by the time i turned 50 and i was gonna document it but during kind of just out here walking and you know i went ahead and jogged a little bit and i ended up jogging a mile <laughs> so i didn't get, really get to document it and uh you have to forgive me for moving my uh hand to hand again i got bad shoulders and they get worn out like instantly just holding holding a tiny gopro up so yeah so i've accomplished some pretty cool stuff and i guess you can add to my list of accomplishments starting my new channel the body beat down uh I had my other main channel for years. I started it in 2000 and maybe six, about 2006 or 2008, I think around 2006. Anyway, that's whenever I started my actual YouTube account or whatever you want to call it. You know, you gotta, you gotta make an account, you gotta sign up or whatever before you can comment and like and all that kind of stuff so anyway back then is whenever i did that under mikey son then i changed it to mikey son tv i just put tv at the end but uh really i didn't start uploading and doing anything on that channel really until like 2016 maybe uh right at the end 2017 somewhere in there it's 16 to 17 is whenever i started kind of trying to upload more and that's whenever i really took off with mikey sun tv and and that channel covered everything i mean if you go there and you look at the playlist you're gonna go good god that's a lot of stuff i mean i have a thousand videos easy now here over the past couple of months i've just been kind of dumping some videos there just because for some reason I keep getting subscribers. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and just dump some videos there. I'm not really, I'm not doing thumbnails. I'm not really doing descriptions and tags and sharing and all that kind of stuff. I'm just dumping some videos. But anyway, I got away from Mikey Sun TV because that channel covered every subject, topic, love, passion, hobby of mine that you can cover. And the channel wasn't growing fast enough, and I wasn't getting the the traffic and and all that. And uh, and it's up to like 260 subscribers. And you know, for that amount of time, that many years, and that many videos, uh, they just don't pan out. They don't work. So I went ahead and I created another channel, the Body Beatdown. Uh, to cover just one topic and that focuses more on fitness you know just for us regular guys and girls and, and uh, it covers you know from food to walking and talking to weight lifting to cycling and spinning and kayaking canoeing spelunking mountain climbing parachuting or really anything it could cover probably bowling and billiards and just anything that kind of gets you up and going like that and then you know our diets and and just random discussions and stuff like that you know whatever needs to be touched on uh that's that's what the body beat downs for and i do have another channel actually that i created just for video games it's called Old Mental Pickle. O-L-D-M-E-N-T-A-L is one word. 
pickle is the second word and that's a our live stream and uh sometimes i'll upload pre-recorded video game content but uh yeah i mean you can go you can go check out mikey sun tv go on the playlist under like vlogs and personal family and stuff like that and Man, you can go find out everything in the world you want to find out about me. Why I suffer from depression. What's happened to my back and my shoulders. To, I mean, just marital problems that I talk about. And everything. I mean, I'm an open book. I talk about whatever I want to talk about. And uh, that's, that's me. Some people aren't that open about things in their lives. I am. I don't care I have nothing to hide and uh, to keep secretive really so why if I have something to share heck my experience uh, through goods and bads might could help someone out why not share I mean you know I'm just not real secretive about stuff I hear a vehicle A vehicle-y. So anyways, guys. Um, that's just a little bit of uh, info on my channels. And what's, you know, the, the reason for uh, the couple of different channels. And... And all that kind of stuff. So. On to. Today. New Year's Eve. It's Friday. Today. I'm doing my walk and talk video. Right here. I got a workout back. Today. I am going to shoot. One movement from that that I'm doing today, and I'll upload that as well on the body beatdown. And uh, I am going to be playing some more Halo Infinite going through the campaign. I'm pretty much at the end, I think. And uh, how you doing? Good yeah, doing pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Um, you can go on uh, Old Mental Pickle and check that out later. You can also go and watch me playing up until now. I got... Uh, a few videos. I only play usually for about an hour to an hour and a half. This is what I try to live stream. I'm not one of those live streamers that goes on for 10 hours. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll be playing some Halo Infinite later on tonight. And uh, I'll be eating some healthy cheeseburgers that I'll be making up tonight. And some french fries. And, uh... My niece, of course, I'm against it completely. And you can even go into Mikey's and TV and hear me talk about this. But, my niece keeps trying to get me to start up a TikTok account. She says that doing short little videos over there, I would end up getting a lot of followers. And then I could lead them over to these channels here stuff like that but man I don't want to uh, I don't want to have to deal with more social media you know I'm fighting here on YouTube just to make it kind of failing but I'm you know I'm still fighting and my goal my goal to begin with whenever I first started doing videos and stuff it wasn't to become I wasn't instantly thinking of money and fame and 
and all that but it wasn't long after i thought you know what i could get my brand going that i'm thinking about maybe i could get a lot of subscribers make a little extra income on the side i'm a school bus driver by the way and my and i make horrible monthly income and i thought well maybe if i get enough subscribers and all that stuff i can start monetizing my videos and and uh make a little side money just enough to maybe you know help support my channel and get some new things for the channel and you know to where i don't have to dig into our money our monthly money so it went from you know just doing something for fun to quickly hey maybe i can make this more serious and uh give me just a second car coming so you know i tried pushing out my t-shirts and all that uh my brand is d-i-t-i -I. it's do it to it that's my brand and the whole entire saying is get up get let me show you it's get up get out get rad do it to it that's the whole entire thing and it has a, a real meaning if you stop and think about it it's not a complicated meaning we all know what get up means get the heck up you know wake up even get up you know let's get up and start our day get out let's get outside for a minute let's get out of the house get rad and getting rad can be walking and talking or it can cycle it can be cycling it can be uh, riding a four-wheeler it can be racing cars it can be going bowling it can be planting a garden whatever it is man get up get out get rad and do it to it and if you're gonna do something go all out go all in all cards in on the table you know and do it to it do your best with what you're gonna do so that's kind of get up get out your and do it to it what it feels you know for men uh that's that's kind of how i you know put it out there uh, i started i guess a long video longer might as well i started cycling in february of 2016 I had to do something because I couldn't work out. I couldn't do anything. I was overweight. My back has been out my whole life. And, and I'm like, well, I love bicycles. I've always wanted to cycle. And uh, and you can go back in Mikey Sin TV, find all this stuff. But So anyway, I got a bicycle in February 2016. I started cycling. And uh, a lot of it was to try and get healthier and active and also to fight depression i've had depression since i was 25 and it it kind of revved up even uglier 2010 and you know you battle depression like that you need to find something to try and help that so i thought cycling will help and so i cycled for five and a half years i just retired from it this is my daily exercise uh this past july the uh, middle of july and i've went only to spinning i put the bike on the little trainer and just spin inside and uh that's for time restraint and i'm tired of feeling like i'm gonna get killed out here on the road and uh and it, it's kind of it's given me a little bit more time throughout the day because I do two walks a day plus I work out and and I was cycling so all that was taking up hours so uh, it kind of cut it down for me and plus I'm safe at home so anyway you know I started all that a lot of it my brand came from uh, you know, needing to get up and out and rad and doing it to it 
because I'm fighting depression and uh, that's why it has a pretty significant meaning to me and why I feel pretty strongly about my brand you know it's not just Nike it's not just Reebok so there's actual significance to it to every everything I do there's some kind of significance and I would like to get it out there you know I've sold a handful of shirts over the years nothing major I don't make really a profit on them and I got some people that have given me a hard time oh you're only doing your channel for money well if I was doing it to make money only then I'm really failing because I haven't made a dollar from YouTube <laughs> So, I haven't made a dollar. I hope to. But I doubt it's going to happen. Most people don't make it. Even whenever you fight as hard as I have, sometimes you just don't make it. So... Anyway, you're learning a little bit about my brand. You're learning a little bit about why I started it and the, the beginnings of Mikey Sun TV and then branching over into the body beat down. You know, YouTube logistics, the, the rules of YouTube say to cover one topic and branch out around that topic with other things that support that topic and, and all that. So that's why I started the body beat down. You know to to just focus on like fitness and everything fitness related and then of course old mental pickle is focused only on video games so but if you want to go check out Mikey Sin TV you look in the playlist you're gonna you're gonna see all kind of stuff I look at it and I'm really proud of it I did a lot of stuff and I do it all by myself you know it's not like I have other personalities with me you know to hang out and do stuff and be creative with and and all that it's all on my own I'm doing it on my own so I'm proud of my channels even though technically I guess they're kind of failures you know even though I've had people reach out to me a few times here and there, you know, hey, you know, you're inspiring me, you're, you know, you're doing a good job, I appreciate your videos, and, you know, if you can at least inspire somebody throughout your day, no matter what it is, whether it's playing a game or cooking or working out or talking or whatever the case, if you can inspire someone with something that you do, then you're doing pretty good. It's just I'm not doing good enough where I can, you know, make YouTube a business. I'm not getting my brand out there and my name. Which leads me to thinking that probably, you know, 2022 might be my last year that I keep trying. Now, by the end of 2022, I'm going to have probably, I don't know, 100... 200 videos. I don't know how many I can do on this one topic. So by the end of this by the end of this year I might have another 100 or so videos and and I think by then you know, if my channel hasn't reached out then it probably won't. So I'm going to give the body beat down you know, my best through 2022. And, uh, and I'll go from there, you know. I'm not a quitter. Look at Mikey Sun TV. <laughs> you want to see someone who's persistent and consistent, who fights and doesn't give up? That was me on Mikey Sun TV. And it's branched off to the body beatdown because I could have easily just tried to stop making videos altogether. And I, but I thought, you know what, I'm passionate about 
fitness and working out and all that kind of stuff especially now that i can do it again so let's go ahead and make that channel and try so i think uh i think giving it a little bit more time and just seeing where it goes is about all i can do so please support the body beatdown Help me to live out my dream and become successful and to get my brand out there my shirts my logo my name not for whenever i die not just for oh he'll live on after he dies not just for that but right now while i'm alive let me enjoy some of the fruits of my labor you know i'd like to be able to make some money and have my logo boom and you know make millions and billions of dollars and be able to shower my family with money and gifts and comfort that we've never had and there's nothing wrong with that being successful and uh happy and content and comfortable should be the american dream so that's my dream and then to live on long after I die would be amazing and be an honor to be like the Nikes and the Reeboks the Michael Jordans the Michael Jacksons and the Elvis and Beatles and so on and so forth it'd be nice to be you know as one of those people the Bill Gates and the Oprah's and and all that stuff you know to be remembered and still making money and still bringing in you know people and being a positive influence to people long after i'm gone that'd be great you know so anyway you're learning quite a bit about me and my channels and all that kind of stuff which is kind of what i wanted to do with this walk and talk <sighs> seems like i had something else i was going to do i don't know that I, I don't even know if i finished my conversation on tiktok but man i spoke out against that trash for a long time now all these girls flipping and flopping with their boobs and butts all over the place and doing these stupid tiktok dance moves and it's a disgusting place because that's what's showcased there's some there's some decent stuff on there but that's not what's showcased what you see first time i ever went to the page to tiktok's page i typed in google tiktok pops up the big search so i clicked on the first thing that said tiktok.com or whatever their main page loaded up and i started scrolling and almost every video that started automatically playing was a girl flip-flopping around boobs and butt and everything in the air and doing these stupid tiktok dance craze things i call it moving to sign language with sign language is what i call it it's ignorant and uh, that's what you see that's what's pushed out there not people like me so you gotta search for people like me out there you don't just go to TikTok and see 50 year old men walking down the road. You know, that just don't happen. Well, it was influenced by your searches. No, it wasn't because I've never searched TikTok. I don't look at TikTok. I don't like TikTok. If I wanted to look at girls flipping and flopping around, I have other sites I could go to where I can see a lot, a lot more than that. So, I don't know. I feel like maybe uh, social media is not the platform for me. I really think, and if I had the drive to do it, and I've been thinking about this literally since 2016, I think if I had the drive to do it, locally is where I need to focus, my local community put myself out there in my local community you know get to know people 
help out around holidays and other such things and get my face out there and my name out there and start spreading my channel and, and everything through the community and locally and then it spreads to other small communities around us and before you know it you really have fame in a different way and you can get your name and your business and your logo and all that stuff your brand you can get all that stuff out there by doing that it's just I'm not a super outgoing person and uh, that's kind of what hinders me I'm more of a at-home guy by myself leave me alone kind of person unless you want to come over and do a video with me or something <laughs> you know so there's that option there that I've thought about literally since 2016 but I keep doing the social media path because so many people are on there and so many people are making you know at least some money and then you have some people that are extreme millionaires so you have anywhere from what I'm looking to do in realistic, you know, being realistic, all the way to absurd stupidity income, you know. So we'll see, you know. Again, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give the body beat down 2022 as best I can and uh, go from there. So I hope you stick around and push me out there. Hope you have a good New Year's. I'm tasting that skunk that I'm smelling. Mmm, yum. So yeah, we're coming up on 32 minutes right here. Exactly. <laughs> so I guess I need to start wrapping it up. I basically just have to round this corner and then I go home. I get, I get home, so. So check out the body beat down. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. While you're at it, check out Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games and upload some video game pre-recorded footage and stuff like that. And you can also, if you want, check out Mikey Sin TV. You go to Mikey Sin TV, though, you're going to get blown away. And you're going to be like, how did this channel not blow up? And I'm not kidding. I do art projects, <laughs> photography, walks, working out, cycling, cooking, taste tests, hot challenges, I play darts, I have family moments and discussions, and I have just movie reviews, discussions. Stuff like that. I mean, just book readings. Everything. <laughs> and it's all my stuff. It's all my creation. I've done it. All. Mikey Sin TV will blow your socks off. It's crazy. You know? I just... I really couldn't believe that it didn't blow up. But, you know, I guess I got my hopes up a little high. Anyway, I'm rambling on again. I'm about to be home. Right there. So, guys, have a great new year. A safe new year, a fun new year. Be adventurous. Do a lifestyle change. Get your diet in check. Eat correctly. Be active. Take care of yourself. It's your responsibility as an adult to do those things and not put it on anyone else that will end up having to take care of you eventually. Okay? Take care of yourself as best you can. And don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown with me, Michael. Your incredible host.
Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!